My name is Tony Lam, and I'm a serial entrepreneur in the food space. And I'm a restaurant owner, and I'm an Asian hustler. I was born in Vietnam. During the fall of Saigon, I was only three months old when my family fled on a tiny boat to the US. My father was one of the naval captains of the South Vietnam government. My mother had just given birth to me, and they had to make the difficult decision. Should they stay, or should they go with a three-month baby and risk death by the communist government. Uh, they made the decision to drop everything they had and took a chance on a better life into the unknown. My grandma, aunts, uncles, and cousins all left everything behind and boarded the boat. My father, to this day, still has nightmares of the harrowing escape. My family members were refugees in the Philippines for about six months. Not knowing what would happen, my family prayed hard and God answered our prayers. We were sponsored by an American family through Catholic Charities. The American family took in a total of six of us, gave us a roof over our heads, put food on the table, and gave my family support for a couple of years to survive. My sponsored grandparents are now angels in heaven, but their kids whom I still call Aunt Kim and Uncle John still live in Southern California and we still communicate every so often. My family is grateful to their parents' kindness and open heart to take in complete strangers into their home. My family would not be where we are today without them. My family moved to the Bay Area a few years later for a fresh start. My brother and sister were born and we quickly became a family of five. My father got his double A degree from San Jose City College and his trade was being a technician fixing medical devices for hospitals while my mother worked as an assembly worker. I remember growing up in a poor neighborhood, being teased by classmates for being Asian. Racism did exist uh, at an early age for me, but I didn't let that bother me. I remember my parents uh, giving me a $100 allowance to buy enough clothes every year during my middle and high school years. So, so I did not grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I was grateful for what I had. I got decent grades, but was not smart by uh, all means in high school. I'm a restaurant owner and have eight restaurants throughout the Bay Area. I'm a franchisee for a quick service restaurant called Wingstop for the past 15 years. Uh, Wingstop serves chicken wings with 12 different flavors. I enjoy Wingstop very much, but my wife only allows me to eat it once a week. During the past Super Bowl, we sold over 54,000 wings in one day across all my locations. I do feel sorry for all the chickens that day. I also have an ice cream business called Maven's Creamery uh, with my partners, Christine and Gwen. Uh, we started in a 400 square foot garage, moved into a large factory in San Jose, and we recently appeared on Shark Tank and struck a deal with Barbara Corcoran. We're now in 300 venues and in major grocery chains such as Safeway and Whole Foods. We're continuing to expand in other markets and hope to expand globally very soon. Today, I'm working on my new venture with two other partners of mine in the coffee space. OmniBev is the world's first authentic Vietnamese cold brew coffee harvested directly from Vietnam and brewed in sunny California. My partners and I want to take Vietnamese coffee mainstream in the U.S. market. We are already speaking to large companies such as Facebook, TikTok, and eventually we hope to be in major retail grocery chains across the country. My goal is to get Vietnamese cold brew coffee into 10,000 store locations within the next five years. With the profits that we make, we plan on giving back to the Vietnamese farmers and helping local communities in Vietnam. It is always nice to give back and help one another out as I've learned from my earlier childhood. OmniBev wants to pay it forward. Yes, I mean, it's, it's been a roller coaster, uh, you know, hustling these last 15 years. I've gone from selling $4 macaroon ice cream sandwiches to $5 cold brew coffee to selling 10 wing combos. I've done it all and I want to tell everyone it is not easy. For all the folks in the restaurant and food industry, I respect you and take my hat off to you. 
I attended uh, Cal Poly Slo where I got my business degree. My dream was to open a business one day, but I didn't know at that time what it would be. My first job out of college was at Cisco System. I worked in corporate for way too long, 14 years. Um, I was a workaholic, working 60 to 70 hours a week to save up money to start a family one day. But I got bored with corporate and I wanted to be my own boss and control my own destiny. I knew if I had the passion and I put my mind to it, I would succeed. I knew I could prove the naysayers wrong without hesitation. My advice to everyone is to dream big and the sky's the limit. You have to always have that fire inside of you and that competitive spirit to blow away your competition. One of the biggest challenges for me was scaling my business and finding the right talent who would be able to help my business grow. I was always wearing too many hats and trying to do everything. Through my network connections and the partnerships that I have forged, I now have been able to connect the dots and find the right people and put them in their own swim lane for success. It wasn't easy at the beginning, but with hard work, trial and error, and dedication, I was able to overcome all obstacles. AHN is a very special community of entrepreneurs. Not in a million years would I have ever thought I would get to this day. To see a sea of strong Asian hustlers cheering everyone on as this community has done, seeing the Asian community coming together is truly remarkable. There have been many Kleenex boxes that I have emptied out and plenty of fist pumps exchanged with members who share their success stories. What is great about the community is that all of them keep hustling and never, ever quit. Maggie and Brian, the co-founders, are both wonderful people. They have been very supportive of me and my businesses. AHN has a very special place in my heart. I have met at least 75 folks one-on-one -on -one and heard their story firsthand. As a matter of fact, I have formed several business with some of the AHN members today. We have regular Zoom meetings every week to discuss business. I love the camaraderie, support, and hustle that each of them exhibits. This network is absolutely incredible, and I know together we will reach 1 million members in the very near future. Being grateful and blessed about where I came from and the sacrifices my parents made has given me a whole new meaning in life. My motto in life is it's better to give than to receive. I don't take things for granted and I always like helping others, just like my American sponsors did when I first came over to the US. Being an entrepreneur requires hard work, sacrifices, and risky decisions sometimes. This is not for everyone. You will have many obstacles in this journey and many disappointments. You will feel the whole world is sometimes against you, but once you break through and reach the finish line, it will be worth it, so don't give up. You must be passionate about, about the business you want to open. Passion is not a one month, six month, or one year thing. Some sound advice I would give, have at least an 18 month runway where you can support yourself financially and be able to focus on the business. Surround yourself with mentors and other successful entrepreneurs. They will help teach and guide you through unnecessary mistakes. Always have an open mind and just be humble. You know the saying, your net work is your net worth? This is so true. Meet people and network with people via LinkedIn and especially the Asian Hustle Network.